In this webcast, I'm going to introduce you to Python packages and talk about how we actually plot data. So let's start a new program. New window. Shrink it down so it fits on the screen. There we go. Now Python, as you get it out of the box, has a lot of powerful functions in it. However, the first rule of a good programmer is never reinvent something if you can borrow someone else's code, and Python is designed to make it really easy to borrow other people's bits of code. Most things you're going to want to do will have been done, at least in part, by somebody else. And we can borrow it. And there are many, many packages, whole libraries of these things if you do a Google search. For example, there are packages for interacting with the internet, there are packages for 3D visualization and graphics, um, like the simulations I've been showing you in class. The package we're going to use is called PyLab and allows you to handle arrays of numbers and plot graphs. So if you want to use the package, you have to install it. If you've installed the nthought Python edition, you should already have a few useful packages in, including this one. So then you just type import, the name of the package, PyLab. And let's save that. I couldn't save into. Yes, it's going onto the hard drive, so let's put it onto the desktop. Desktop.py. Okay. Now let's run it. And it runs and won't do anything. So that's good. It did run and didn't crash. So that's telling us that it's succeeded in finding the PyLab library and has loaded it. Okay, now PyLab allows us to make arrays of numbers and the command for that is a range. So we'll pick a variable now, let's say x values. Now if you want to use a particular program in a package you type the name of the package dot name of the program. In this case we're going to use PyLab dot a range and the command for a range, it actually tells you down here what it is. It's the start and the stop and the step. So we're going to start at zero, go up to 10, and step sort of on 0.1. What this is going to produce is an array of numbers, starting with naught, then 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, all the way up to 10. Let's just check it works. Save that. And let's run it. And sure enough, you see it's inside square brackets. That's a long list of numbers going from 0 up to 9.9, so just under 10. <coughs> Once you've got an array like this, you can do arithmetic to with it. For example, we could have new y values equals sign x values. Now if we plot y values, let's plot them, uh, print, let's see what we get. Save that, move that module. We've got numbers that naught gets bigger, about just below one and starts getting smaller again so that kind of looks like it could be a sign but what we'd really like to do is plot it so let's try that the command is plot also in the pylab package you say what the x values are x-axis Save that and run the module. It prints it up but doesn't give you anything. Why is that? 
that's because the way the PyLab command works is it generates the plot but doesn't actually show it to you. You need an extra command, which I've forgotten to put in, which is pylab.show. And just note the brackets here at the end with nothing in between them. All Python commands have to have brackets around them. In this case, it doesn't need to have anything in it. They're just there to make it look like all other commands. Save. Run module. And there you get a sine wave. Very easy.